when a roly-poly rolls up, it's for defense and to conserve moisture. This is called volvation, and it's also known as conglobation. Roly-polies get their family name from armadillos, who also roll up into defensive balls. However, while all roly-polies roll up, not all armadillos can form this defensive ball. Female roly-polies brood their eggs and, sometimes, even their children, who may remain attached to her underside during their first two weeks outside of their eggs. While many roly-poly babies don't survive to adulthood, those that do can live for years. That roly-poly you saw three summers ago might still be alive. Roly-polies respond to touch by moving or not moving, which is why they often congregate together or are attracted to solid objects. This is called thigmokinesis. A roly-poly's antennae end in a bunch of hair-like sensory structures. This is sometimes referred to as the paintbrush organ. Like the long tail of a horseshoe crab, the final segment of a roly-poly's body, which doesn't have legs, is known as a telson. Roly-polies have greater species diversity in areas that are more suited to their needs like karst formations that provide moisture and darkness. There's a computer mouse design called the Roly-Poly Mouse that's intended to combine the ease of a computer mouse's usage with a 3D space. Okiagari Kobashi are Japanese Roly-Poly toys. These toys are known for their propensity to stand back up after being pushed over. You've also probably heard that roly-polies have gills, are crustaceans, and are sometimes called pill bugs. But if you weren't aware of these facts, you can learn all about them and more in our full roly-poly episode. There's a card on screen you can click right now. Go ahead, click it. There's lots to learn. And thanks for watching Animal Fact Files.